everyone, this is Aiko. In this video, we're going to review a makeup freebie collection from a magazine. And a little fact about Japanese magazines, almost all magazines here in Japan have freebies and there are a lot of magazines here in Japan. So there are a lot of choices. Some magazines have pouches, bags, cosmetic samples, makeup brushes, makeups, skincares, and a lot more. So in this video, the magazine that I'm going to share with you is this spring magazine. So here. So the freebies of this magazine are these five multi-purpose face color pens that they call Crayon Cosme and these are collaborations of Suzuki Emi and Beans. So I am already done with the unboxing so I'm going to show to you the actual unboxing of these Crayon Cosme. Between the pages of the magazine is this box. The box is not fancy just like the other freebies of other magazines. But this is not a big deal because what important is the contents of this box. And these are the Crayon Cosmes. So the, the box may not be the fanciest but the crayons are. So when I saw this I got more excited and I wanted to use these right away. So here are the Crayon Cosme. And I've already tried this several times, so I can give you an almost accurate review on this. So by the way, the price of this magazine is um, 890 Japanese yen with the tax. So let's go to the packaging. So here, the packaging are really good. It does not look like a free from a magazine at all you see and I love how they put names on each color and I love how they indicate the color here but just be careful with this part because you may accidentally twist it because it's easily twisted so the amount of these products here let's see how long so I haven't used this sango very much so the length is still the same as the new one so here so I didn't expected that the crayons would be this long and I am really satisfied that they gave a product that we can use for months yeah for months if you're not going to use this every day <laughs> yeah so let's go to the colors So now let's test these products. So first, I'm going to use three colors as my eyeshadow for today. I already tried these products and these are not good for eyeshadows because it creases. So first, I'm going to use this Hikari as my base.
So the eyeshadows weren't really too obvious from afar, but but I can notice from my mirror that it gave me a little glow. And I can probably see the, the coral shade and and there's a little depth on my crease. <laughs> and it will probably crease soon because the texture is very creamy and it does not rise up. Yep. So now I'm going to contour. So, so for the contour, I'm going to use the Kage. And for the cheeks, I'm going to use the Naka for the night. I've put a lot because once I blend this, this will become very, very sheer. And for the highlight, Hikari! <laughs> It does not become sheer this time. The first time I used this, it became sheer, so I thought it would become sheer again. But no, it gave me um, a natural flush. So here is the final look and it looks pretty well yep. and now I'm going to proceed with the lipsticks. So this is the last one and I really can't decide what color, what lip color I'm going to use today because all of them are really great and I really love all the colors, yeah. But I think I'm going to use the Kage one, so I'm going to erase this and go back to the Kage. I haven't set yet so I'm going to set. So there we have it. So here is the final look. So, and now for the review. So, let's talk about the scent of these Korean Cosmes. So, it probably has a scent that you may love or hate. 
it's actually similar to the Usha lipsticks I had before and yep it's a little it's in the middle of coconut and vanilla but not as strong as the as the Usha lipstick I had before so this probably won't bother me and the scent does not last long actually by this time the scent has gone and there is no weird taste yeah and the texture of the product as you've seen the texture is creamy I really didn't expect it that it will be that creamy because I thought that uh, that these crayon cosmetics will be hard to apply that you have to swipe a lot more to even out the colors but no I was wrong so yeah these freebies are actually good it's like you have bought a pricey makeup crayon so these are really a very good freebie so I am very satisfied that I am willing to buy if ever I have finished one of these, if these are available, but I think these are not available on the market, so we're going to see about that. The only problem about this is that it creases on my eye, so I already tried this before and it just creases about minutes after applying the eyeshadows. And overall, I think it's good for contour, highlight, cheeks, and lips. But for the eyeshadows, I think it's not. And later, I will back to see if how long these products stay on my face. So see you soon again later. So 9 hours have already passed. So these Korean Cosmes are not long-lasting at all. Because just a few hours after I put on my lipstick, it was almost gone. And when I ate, was totally gone so this lipstick never set on your lips and about the eyeshadow the eyeshadow is now gone and and on the cheeks it's also gone the contour is also gone the highlights I can see the glitters from the highlights so I think these crayons can just last up to four hours and it's not good if you're out all day long but I think this is perfect for the lips since you can always retouch your lips. That's all. See you soon on my next videos. Please subscribe.